I am making the most of the beautiful south coast and my passion for kayak fishing. Stay tuned and follow me on my kayak fishing adventures. I'm all about fishing tips, tricks and trying new things. Nice bass! Yeah buddy! Welcome to Shawcroft Kayak. Look at the size of that! Woohoo! Oi oi, welcome back! Right, so today we've gone out super early. We started real close to see if we could pick up some mullet, which there's loads feeding just by the shore, but as per usual, no luck. So we've come out to our tote spot. We're going to give this another bash, see if they're still here. Not going to mess around for too long today, just to see if they're here. If we're not getting anything, we're just going to go to another spot try for some and if not then probably back in and head for some bass so I've got my um, <clears throat> got my piece of mackerel on so I've got 60 pound leader with a down to a swivel and another 60 pound bit of mono to a freeway swivel then off of the freeway swivel a bit of steel braid down to my circle hook or just actually no it's just an 04 hook and a bit of mackerel then down with some lighter mono to the lead. So that one's all made up. <clears throat> Pop that down. Uh, might just stick one down for the time being and see how we go. That's already hit the bottom. Set that and then I'll do some feathering for some mackerel as well, see if we can pick anything up. And um, fingers crossed we don't just get played by bream. We on to another Maccas, get in! Come on boy! God, they fight so hard! For what they are! They've got two on, lovely job! We one spell hooked! Time to replenish my stock, my bait stock. They're good fun when you get mackerel on, especially when you get a full set of five or six. They go ballistic. The easiest way is to get rid of them, just get them off, put your finger in the, the top of their jaw and pull their head back, break their neck. That's it, it's quick, very humane, easy. Yeah, boy. Yeah, <laughs> love it. Oh, love it. It's so much fun, mackerel. Oh, oh, put on such a scrap with his little rod. Oi, oi, that one's a big one. Oh, 
First mackerel of the season. God, I have been really unlucky. Not being able to catch any mackerel. Come on! Yeah! Yeah, I love it. It's so much fun. Oh, especially on this light tackle, it's brilliant. Oh, God, come <sighs> Next Mac clock yet. I'm going to stick it in my railblaze uh, bag over the side, keep it live, and then when I'm finished up here, I might try and do a bit of light bay fishing. See how we go, see if we can um, send it down to the bottom with a small weight maybe, and see if a tope goes for it. Never tried it before, so let's give it a go. He's in, finally. It's almost like they knew my plan for the live bait and decided not to bother. Oh, perfect little size as well. There's my live bait bag. Right, here goes uh, the trial for the live bait. So I've got my tote rig. This is like I explained earlier, 60 pound mono down to a three-way swivel and then off with steel braid and then a weight at the bottom. So what I'm going to do is take off the weight to start with. So now I've just got, let's get rid of that. Now I've just got the mono down to three-way swivel and a hook. Now I'm going to cut a bit of old mackerel to stick up the top of the hook to use like a scent trail. I've got my old bit of mackerel. Now, these hook, I should have a circle hook really, but I might bother to crimp another one on. This is a standard 04 hook. It's been debarbed as well, so hopefully it doesn't come off. Stick that up there at the top. Skanky bit of mackers. Right, that's past there. It's got there that now. Bring in my live bag. Still kicking nicely. Go for the smallest one. There we go. A 
through the top jaw. Just like that. So there we go, Ooh, before it kicks all the mackerel off. Alright, let's let load the line out. Hopefully it doesn't stay on the top. Right, I'm going to bring him in because I think he's just sitting on the surface and I'm going to put a weight on. Just want to bring him in slowly. Right, I've already got my uh, weight with another clip so I could literally just clip it onto the bottom of this. The worry is if he gets all tangled up, but we'll see. I should descend into the bottom. What I'll do is, when the weight hits the bottom, I'll reel it up a turn, just so it's not dragging. And then um, that'll keep him down there where the bigger fish are, like the tope, etc. And then um, we'll give that a go. Nothing yet on the live bait. Get a few nibbles on the mackerel, on the feathers. Yeah, like that. Kitty boy, yeah. Such good fun on this little rod. <laughs> oh no, I had two on, and I've only got one. Squirt his guts everywhere. Neck. What's going on here? Let's get these feathers back down. Yeah, come on. Get in! Oh, oh no! Just go off just by the side of the boat. No, nightmare. This feels decent, this one. Ugh. Decent mackers. Hell of a fight, these things. Hell of a fight. Yeah, boy. Well, I've got two rods out. Both bait up with one with live mackerel, one with just a sliver of mackerel. So while I'm waiting. I'm going to take care of the other mackerel. The other one in the live bag didn't make it, unfortunately. So he's dead. So let's get those sorted. Never do this in my other kayak.
Some of these are big. Random music coming from the radio. Right, nothing's really happening unfortunately. So, let's reel it in, then I'll start heading back in. I've gutted all my mackerel, cleaned everything up, got the boat back in ship shape. So, just need to gut this last mackerel and then start going back in and I might do a bit of spinning close to shore for some bass. Thank <laughs> you. 